Suspense and controversy unveiled, shocking revelation of cerebral aneurysms before Frederick Lawson's fight with Virgil Ortiz Jr. In a stunning Facebook statement, Tony Weeks made an astounding claim that Frederick Lawson was flagged for not just one, but two cerebral aneurysms before his showdown with Virgil Ortiz Jr. Instead of canceling the fight or finding a replacement, Golden Boy Promotions sought a second opinion from a new doctor, according to the official's account. Lawson underwent further examination, and the medical professional gave him the green light, allowing the fight to continue. Tony Weeks claims to have a cerebral aneurysm. Explaining the events in a now-deleted post after facing massive backlash for the stoppage, Weeks revealed, what the public didn't know was that before the fight, he underwent a brain scan. It revealed that he had an aneurysm. They repeated the test, and the same aneurysm appeared. They brought in another doctor, who conducted the same examination. The result came back negative for the aneurysm, giving him clearance to fight. However, the fact that two cerebral aneurysms were identified and yet deemed insufficient to cancel the contest is not the end of the story. Weeks stopped the fight without a solid punch landed due to his knowledge of the situation. In two cases, the integrity of boxing is severely compromised. If such practices are carried out behind closed doors, the sport should pack up and go home now. The disregard for medical checks endangered a fighter's life. Secondly, thousands of fans paid money for an event that would never be competitive from the start. Weeks protected Frederick Lawson. Weeks was solely in the ring to protect Lawson and get him out of there as soon as possible. Golden Boy's show then becomes a farce, and refunds should be granted in full. Lawson should have been withdrawn, the fight should have never taken place, and thorough testing was necessary to ensure his safety. If Weeks had not been aware of Lawson's dual diagnosis beforehand, the whole charade could have been much worse. Golden Boy issued a feeble statement on the matter, deflecting blame onto the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Frederick Lawson was cleared by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and a sanctioned physician to fight Saturday night. All further inquiries should be directed to the NSAC. This entire incident is not going to fade away anytime soon. The repercussions and questions surrounding the event demand a thorough investigation. Question of the day, what are your thoughts on the revelation of Frederick Lawson's cerebral aneurysms before his fight with Virgil Ortiz Jr.? Should the fight have been cancelled? Leave your comment below and share your perspective on this controversial incident in the world of boxing. If you want to stay up to date with all the news and discussions about boxing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Don't miss any videos and join our community of boxing enthusiasts. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.